everybody, it's Andy with Alanis Morissette, the musical. It's Jagged Little Pill. It's now playing at the Broadhurst. I cannot wait to see it. Uh, Reasons I Drink is out now, and she has a tour coming up. Tickets are on sale December 13th. Julia's movie Hustlers is on DVD right now, December 10th. Tom and Ariana's book, Fancy AF Cocktails. Drink recipes from a couple of professional drinkers is out now. And uh, Vanderpump Rules, of course, is back when? January, January 7th. 7th. Okay, excellent. Uh, Alanis, you've been working on the musical for eight years, you said, but actually, in theory, you've kind of, in a way, My been working life. on it. No, but I mean, since the album came out in a weird way, right? Yeah, and when Vivek, the producer, and Tom Kidd, who did the music with me, um, when he came, when they both came and sat across from me eight years ago and ran this idea, Passed me, and I just thought, wow, okay. I was a little apprehensive. I didn't want to do a jukebox musical. Uh huh. But then Diablo Cody came in, and she took all the characters, created the characters, as she's told me, by pulling all the characters out of my songs mm -hmm. and then creating this really cohesive story. And then Diane Paulus directing and Larby choreographing it. It's the dream team. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. That's very cool. It's my dream. How exciting to just be able to see that come to life every night on yeah. Broadway. I mean, yeah. what a, I mean, of everything you've done, that has to be uh, very surreal. It's, a, it's the mind-blown emoji, for yeah. sure. When I'm sitting in the audience listening to these songs, it's the first time I've had objectivity on them because I've been Singing them. sending them out. Yes. So then receiving them, I'm a, I'm a mess. People had to push my shoulders down during rehearsals. Oh. I was, like, shaking and heaving. Wow. Uh, okay, let's go to Lisa from California for Julia Stiles. Hey, Lisa, what's your question? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. Andy said my name. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna be cool. Um, my question is for Julia. Okay. Um, hi, Julia. Hi, Lannis. Um, what was the most surprising thing you learned from the journalist you played in Hustlers about the women from Scores? Wow, that's a really good question. Um, <clears throat> While I try to think of an answer, um, I had been a fan of Jessica Pressler's work uh, for a while. She uh, writes for who? She writes for New York Magazine, and okay. she had written, uh, she, I remembered the article Hustlers at Scores that the movie's based on, and there was another article that she wrote about this woman, Anna Delvey, who's in Rikers Island Prison right now, but is, Shonda Rhimes is making a TV show about her too. And uh, I had been following Jessica's work for a long time, so when I was cast in the movie, I was really excited and I kind of fangirled and, and contacted her, Jessica and said, I'm playing you in this movie so we should probably meet. And um, my, we, we both were working at the time and uh, couldn't find childcare so I was like, well, let's just have a play date. So I brought I my son it. over to her house in Queens and he like destroyed her living room <laughs> while her daughter was napping. Um, and I just picked her brain about, about everything having to do with this movie. And so your question was the most surprising thing that I learned from her. Um, you know, I, I guess, mm, uh, maybe it's that, uh, Maybe you weren't surprised by anything. I yeah. Mean, maybe, you know, I mean. Um, well, I think you see the, the clip that you showed, like yeah. the, the character that Constance Wu plays, Rosalind Keough, who has a book coming out now, um, ended up like saving all of her money that she made in this scheme. And then when she was out of jail, she went and like bought a house in the suburbs and just got like a straight and narrow life. And that was kind of su not, yeah. yeah, surprising, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Susan from St. Louis has a question for Julia Stiles. What's your question, Susan? Hi, Andy. Hi, hey. Alanis. Hi. Hey, hi. Hey, Julia. Mm -hmm. Is it true that you were the one who suggested that Heath Ledger seeing Can't Take My Eyes Off of You in the football scene and 10 Things I Hate About You? And what is your favorite memory of that day? Yes. And uh, my favorite memory of that day, well, I mean... That was, was your idea. No, it was definitely not. Oh, it was idea. not your idea. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, I that's wish. funny. Yeah, okay. No, no, well, that's no. a good rumor. Is it a rumor? I didn't even I know don't that. know. Yeah. Uh, cool. I'll take credit for it. Yeah. Um, uh, my favorite memory of that day, the whole day, he was just phenomenal. I mean, like, running up and down those stadium steps, and nobody knew that he had this amazing voice, and he just went full out, and I got to watch it. It's such a great moment. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Alanis, Kelly L. wants to know if you liked Cecily Strong's impression of you on SNL. I haven't seen it. All right. And on that note, Julia, Kayla, I wants to know if you ever heard from Jenna Bush after you impersonated her on SNL. I haven't, but 
if she wants to call me, that's cool. If you're available. <laughs> Let's go to Jenny from California. Hey, Jenny, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Your hey. baby's adorable. Thank you. My question is for Julia. Okay. Julia, what was the first impression of Carrie Washington when you worked with her on Save the Last Dance? And did you ever think she would become a big star? Yes. Um, she, uh, she was formidable. I mean, she was so impressive. Um, just such a centered, everything that you see on screen, like just such a centered, graceful, great woman. And I kind of looked to her for guidance during that movie, too. Um, she wasn't a star at that point, but you could feel that she, she was like on the, on the roller coaster going up, you know, that she, she was just so like strong. And, and uh, yeah, she, everything that you see on screen, just graceful. Well, she, she coined the word slamming. <laughs> she coined the word slamming? Yeah. No, the writers did, but she said it in the movie. And yeah. Slamming. She owned it. Know. Yeah. She did own it. All right, we got Kelly from Maryland for Alanis Morissette. Kelly, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Hi. Hi. Uh, my question is for Alanis. Hi, Alanis, and hi, hi. Julia. Um, my question is uh, for Alanis is, are the rumors true that you almost became an American Idol judge during... Mariah Carey season, and what do you think about singing competition shows in general? Were you going to be on the Mariah season of Idol? I was having conversations with a few different people at that time, and it, it didn't happen. Um, baby brain, what was the second question? <laughs> what, is, what do you think of singing shows in general? Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. You know, I think I, I'm a very categorizing brain. So I think people are performers, and then they're artists, and sometimes they're both. Mm -hmm. So... When I hear people sing, I mean, the way that I even knew I could sing, because both my brothers said I couldn't sing at all, um, was that I was singing along with Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey yeah. and Etta James, and I felt as though if I could hit their notes that I was a legit singer. Wow. So that's... Did, how, did your, how did your songs get to Madonna and Maverick? I was writing the whole record and, and getting copious amounts of projection for it, so I asked... Um, my team, who I was working with at the time, to stop shopping the record and just went back under the rock, which is my favorite place to be, to be yeah. totally honest. Um, and then uh, I was in my sweatpants. We were writing All I Really Want. We were done the record. And Guy O'Siri at Maverick um, invited us over, and, I, and they called me and said, go see Guy. And I said, I'm wearing sweatpants. Like, I have sleep in my eyes. And, and they said, just go, meet him. So I went over in my sweatpants, and I played Perfect, and You Ought to Know, and Hand in My Pocket. And he, and he Just for Guy. For Guy. Yeah. And he just went, okay, we have to talk. And that was it. Wow. Yeah. Go see the musical, everybody. Get Hustlers on DVD. Get the book. For more, click it on BubbleTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here. And subscribe to our channel here. See ya.